here for um, these two worm snakes. You know, I'm going to get it before he goes away. Yeah. I don't... Uh, oh, my, I never seen one of these here before. Um, we're just looking for these to find new. My sister said, oh, there's going to be nothing under this log. And then I found this. Oh, my gosh. Look at this, this is a salamander. I need to go get my field guide and figure out what kind it is. It is some kind of salamander. Um, I don't know what kind. It's definitely a salamander. I'm gonna go look at my field guide and I'll get back to you when we find out. I knew it was a uh, salamander that was native to here, and I couldn't quite put the figure out the name. So we looked it up, and it's a spotted salamander. Of course, you can guess where the name spots come from, right there. There, I love how the coloration of these guys because the spots look like they, they were just painted on. Because they're not all even; they just like look like. Uh, so I painted them, them on it. So that's what I love about these guys' coloration. They are amphibians, which means they need water. They, they breathe through their skin, so I'm trying not to hold it as much as possible. And they need to be wet. They can't just dry out. You're not going to find an amphibian out in the desert somewhere. They're going to be in moister areas. That's why I found it under the log. And these guys are poisonous. Not from this, a totally different thing. Talk about that another day. But these guys are poisonous. Not poisonous to touch, but they are poisonous to eat. That's why these yellow spots are here, is to warn off predators that saying, hey, look at me, I'm poisonous, don't eat me. They are, so salamanders, oh, let me first say, all newts are salamanders, but not all salamanders are newts. So the eastern spotted newt that we found in the pond most newts are going to be living in the water most of their adult life. They are built for the water because they have a certain kind of tail that's built for using to help swim. This guy and a lot, all, a lot of other salamanders are, will stay in land and go to places where it's moist. So that's kind of cool. That's kind of difference between newts and salamanders, but technically they're the same thing. They are going to be eating, they are insectivores, so you can probably going to most find them eating worms and maybe some smaller crickets and ants maybe. So, they're just going to be eating your typical small amphibian diet, insectivores. Not really anything interesting to say. I know some amphibians can regrow their limbs, but I don't know whether these guys can. I think they might be able to, but do not quote me on that. But I'm going to put this guy back. We're going to... What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this down like this. Put him right here for now. Get him in a little bit. Move this here. Move this here. You always want to put and whatever animal you're catching right back where you found him. So... Back right in there. I don't know how well you can see it. Oh, and he's going into this log. Ah, oh, that's a good camera shot. So, he should be nice and happy. Whether Whatever log he's in, it should be nice and moist. This log that looks like he's going into had a lot of crickets, so that'll be good. So now where is he going? Oh, I see him. Right there. But, yep, that's the... Spotted Newt. Thanks for watching today's video of Animal Headquarters. We found an unexpected animal, a spotted newt. It's not in, not, excuse me, a spotted salamander. Not an eastern side newt, a spotted salamander. Really cool find. Don't really see them a lot, but they are definitely from here. But so, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on those notifications and we'll see you later. Adios.